costume hope everyone's doing okay sorry i've not been around for a little while life has been very hectic um work and all sorts going on so i apologize that i've not been here for a few weeks but that does mean that i have quite a bit to show you today um get stuck right in so i've no ffos but i do have a finish the lovely lady herself harriet tubman she is done um i finished her early last week i was determined to get her done the portrait did take a bit longer than i had anticipated but it was well worth it i finished i finished her and then i'd had the background empty and Rue was like, just don't bother. It's like, no. I bought the, the floss especially. It was a gentle arts called toasted barley. So I bought it especially. I'm going to use it. And I think it does make a big difference having it. I did run out like two, three stitches before the end. So I just Googled what the DMC substitute for gentle arts toasted barley was and i just stuck a few stitches in of that i can't remember what number it was but i just she's just beautiful the detail on her is incredible like the primitive hair who designed this is a genius because at first i was a bit like oh why is all that like really pale color on her face but I think it does work. Like it's meant to be like the, I'm guessing like light on her face because you've got quite a light a bit in her dress as well. But I do love this, and I'm so glad it's finished. I just need to find a beautiful frame for her now, and then decide where she's going to live. But yeah, I'm very proud of her. I bought a book. I'm going to read about her. So very good and I love that one I'm very happy with that so then that brings me on to new starts now I think a couple of videos ago I mentioned starting a new page well I have <laughs> um I think I showed you all I purchased Bilbo Baggins by Kate Powell from Heaven and Earth Designs I bought him and I have really just ran with this I'm I'm so I'm really impressed with myself. Um, this is where I am up to. So if you can, if you can see, this is his ear, and then all this up here is like the start of his head and his hair, and this is all just background. So I'm doing this on a twenty count Ada. It's not gridded. That did worry me at first. Um, I was concerned I'd get confused and I'd lose my way and but I haven't I think because of how I've worked it I've just picked colour pulled thread and gone with it um, until it's ended till I come to the end of the thread and then um, picked another colour gone for it stitched with it until it's done and so on and so on um, I'm doing it one over one, full cross. And I love it. <clears throat> Not so much confetti as in my Amazing Animal Kingdom, which I think has meant I've been able to get so much done. I think I have done as much as, if not a little bit more than I've already done. That's taken me three months on my... Um, amazing animal kingdom and this is take this is two weeks worth of work i haven't touched it in a week but i will come back to it but i'm absolutely loving this and the speed of it i started it and i just couldn't put it down absolutely love it so that is where i am with that so hopefully next week i'll have a bit more done 
but I'm so I'm so happy with myself that I've got such a big chunk of it done. I mean, I think I've got like almost half the first page done. It is a mini, but yeah, very happy with that. I do have a needle minder that I've bought that is in my haul that I've got to show you in a bit. So then my next new start, I finished Harriet. I was like, I want something a bit more colourful, a bit brighter. Because a lot of the projects I've been working on have been very muted colours, a lot of brown, like in Harriet. And Bilbo is all browns, blacks, creams, just not very exciting colours. So I went through my pattern folder and had a look at what I had and what I already had like kitted up ready. And I picked out my Barbarana designs. It's called Viva La Vida. And it's it's such a tiny picture and it is Frida Kahlo so I'm carrying on my inspirational women theme and I've started stitching her the colours in this are beautiful and it, again this it seems to be stitching up quite quick so this is where I'm at with her is done, her hair, her hair collar band is done, the iconic eyebrow is there and then I started on this one that's above her head in that with the starting of a butterfly. So there she is coming together nicely. I've done her on a 16 count Ada called Snow on Buff and that is from Claire Brown X Stitch. I've had this a while. The pattern calls for a linen-y, beige coloured linen. <laughs> Nat oh, natural raw linen, It's the model is stitched on. So I wanted to go for something more muted. You can't really tell. It's like a beige colour and it's got little dots on. Can you see? Please excuse the heat marks. You all know by now I don't iron before I come and do a flash tube. Um, so yeah, my brown X stitch. Love her fabric. I have some in my haul. <laughs> um, but yeah, that just seemed like the perfect fabric to put her on she'll just pop really nicely the different colours in and stuff because when you get further down there's more flowers she's got a monkey on her shoulder so that's an ideal quick stitch really work some more on her probably today so that is her then one weekend I'd been working on Bilbo and again I wanted to do something colourful so I went through all my old whips and I dug out an old whip that I haven't shown you before so this is the princesses this is a pattern from Happy Sloth Patterns on Etsy and it's I've not got a picture of the finished piece. It is basically 12 different Disney princesses in the style that these guys are. So I already had Pocahontas and Mulan finished and I thought oh I'll... I had started it with the intention of doing like one a month, one a week, whatever that just fell by the wayside as all my plans do. Um, so I decided to get her back out. I stuck Princess and the Frog on and I sta started to stitch Tiana. So this is where I got up to. This was a Sunday afternoon stitching. I realise. I bought this pattern um, last year when I got back into my cross stitching again. And before I realised, I learnt that 
you needed a certain amount of fodder. So I think, well, I probably just didn't measure. I just went off the measurements on the pattern. Rookie error. So I was stitching at her. I was like, I'm not sure she's going to fit. <laughs> Oop. So I had to count. And she does just, just fit. There is like, I'm not even sure if that's an inch. Um, but it is what it is. We'll carry on. I enjoy doing these. They're nice and quick. You just do all the back black outline and then it's just filling in. So it's a nice, easy, not really having to think too much about it, stitch. Needle Minder was a gift from Fit My Friend Faye. Uh, at Fairy Floss. Um, I think it's from Heart Heartyful. Heartful. But it's a pig in a blanket. Cute. So cute. Um, but anyway, Tiana, she's here. And then we've got, I will, I haven't got anything yet. I won't show it, obviously, but I can tell you who else on it. So you've got Snow White, Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty. Aurora, uh, Ariel, Belle, Jasmine, Pocahontas, Mulan, and then next to Mulan we'll have Rapunzel, and then you've got Tiana, Elsa goes next to her, next to her, although she is a queen, not a princess, and then you've got Moana, also not a princess, she's a chief. Um, but yeah, it's I do love this. This will be part of my Disney haul wear eventually. I do have the companion piece to that called the villains. So in the same places where you've got um, the princesses. So Tiana, where Tiana is on the villains one, you've got Dr. Facilier and then Mulan, the, oh gosh, what's it called? The Hun, I can't remember his name. And then the evil guy out of Pocahontas again his name eludes me but they go in the same place so that is kitted up as well ready to go this is done on a 14 count uh, blush pink Ada I bought it that long ago I can't remember where it was from I think it was from Lovecrafts thinking about it but I can't remember so that is that an oldie but a goodie I'm gonna all I've got to do is fill in her, her skin and then Tiana is done, ticked off the list. So who knows if you'll see that again for a while, but it's all good. Turn it back to one side. So that was all my stitching. I have quite a lot of haul. Since last time I saw you, I have bought quite a bit. It's been just under three weeks, I think, since the last time I did a floss tube. So, <clears throat> got patterns, fabric, threads, the whole shebang. So, let's just get started. So, we'll start with my new needle minder I bought for Bilbo. I got this from Needle Say More on Etsy. So... When I saw it online, it did take me a minute to figure out what was on it. But it is Smaug the Dragon with all his treasure. Just going to get the colour hair in. So I got that and I thought that was perfect to go on Bilbo. It's really nicely well made. It's made out of wood. The magnet is really strong. And a nice little touch. They've put their store branding on the back on the button, which I thought was a nice little touch. So you should go check them out if you like geeky, creepy stuff. They've got quite a bit of creepy stuff on there. Quite a lot of literature ones. There's a Handmaid's Tale one I quite like the look of. Um, just all sorts. They've got a poem on there. So definitely check them out. Really reasonably good priced as well. I think this was £4. Yeah, it's good. Check out their website on Etsy. So that is that. That's my new needle minder. Make sure I put that on the pile with Bilbo. Then next in the pile we've got sorry, I'm pulling. Um my fabric haul. 
Claire Brown X Stitch um, put up a promotion on her Instagram. She was selling mystery bundles of 18 count Ada, 10 by 10 squares, 10 inch by 10 inch squares um, for 12.95. So saving five pounds off her usual price. Really impressed with the selection I got. I'm really happy with what I got. So it's all 18 count. So my first one I got is this pink purple one showing up pretty true to colour there just pink and purple mottling do you have plans for this already or vague plans i think i'm going to do which are also in my haul so that will be coming up shortly so that's that one the next one is this beautiful like marble effect Purple, grey in there. I'm not sure what I'll put on that. Let's see. I do, pack... do have a manatee pattern that I bought that might not go down that, but I don't know. The next one is like this little white and it's got little spots like confetti on there, little purple blue yellow and green can't really tell you can't see the yellow on the screen it's got a nice little thing there and then there is this is called i'm not sure what it's called candy sky so it's like a bit like a spacey galaxy type print all her stuff is printed on, it's not hand dyed. Um, so it's gorgeous. And then this, this is, this is incredible. So it's leopard print. That is amazing. I have no idea what I will stitch on this. It's going to have to be somewhat sassy. I have got, it hasn't arrived yet. I did order the feminist cross stitch book. Um, and that is on its way I won that on good old eBay so maybe something from that will go on here but yeah absolutely love that bit of leopard print who don't like a bit of leopard print so that's my fabric then next um, I've got it into my mind I want to collect classic colour works thread so because I, I was looking at I showed a few videos ago Eiffel Quaker by Jad and Privé and I thought oh I want to use some over dyed threads I want to use something I want to try something new so I thought oh let's look at classic colour works other flash tubers um, talk about them quite a lot never use them let's see what they've got um so i went on um peak side needle crafts they have i think they have everything <laughs> um and i picked out some colors for that but then i was like well i'm buying these they have free, del free delivery over 30 pounds so i thought let's start a collection going so i bought all the a's and some of these and then the other colours that I've got for some other stuff so I've got some floss rings as well coming to put these all on so they're not just in a bag um, so the first one I got was apple fritter showing it nice like it is actually this so I bought this for my Eiffel Quaker I'm doing that in reds and blues because France um, so this has got really nice variegation of reds, if you can see it, so I've got that one. And then to go alongside that, I've got Mermaid Fin. 
which again you can't really tell the variegation on there this is this is where it's where it um and it's nice variegation of blues like a royal blue and like a navy blue in there dark navy so they're the ones i'm using for going to use for my apple clicker when i've found some um fabric to put it on so then these are the rest of the colours that I purchased. So we've got antique lace. So again, just a nice creamy white colour. Nice. Almost almost auburn. These are showing up pretty nice actually. Amber waves. So that's like yellowy browny variegation amethyst which i have to buy that's my birthstone argyle socks another purpley one with like a grey bluey tone running through it as well then you've got avocado obviously looks like the inside of an avocado Anti-D, which is probably one of my favourites. It's like a maroon and blue combo variegation. Anti-Marie's Violet, which is showing up more pink on here, but it's like pink purples. Autumn Spice, nice oranges. And then we went into... I went into the D's. So that's all the A's that they have. And I've got some B's because I liked the colour of them and I wanted them for this project that's also in my haul. So I went for Boysenberry Jam. Very good pinks. Pretty. Then we went for Bandana, which is deeper reds. So I could pick. Then we've got Bejeweled, which is gorgeous, it's one of the B's, which one's it? And then straight out there we went for Rose and Margarita. Well that is the beginning of my collection, I have, no, I printed out, I didn't type this up myself, I found it on the internet, but a list of all the classic colour works. I didn't realise how many there were. There are 247. <laughs> Might take me a while to collect them all. But I'm happy with my first collection that I've purchased. I am going to use them. They aren't just going to sit and be collected. I've bought them to use them. But I just want to try out. They feel lovely. Try out new threads parts and dmc's so i'll let you know how i get on with that then patterns i'm not sure talk about that first no we'll talk about these first i've got a bit of stitchy kindness my husband will he went to aldi to do um our weekly shop and he came back with a little present for me which was super cute so he brought me they still had some crafty stuff in Aldi because my last video I think I showed the Hoots and the Ada that I'd bought. But he bought me a couple of little kits. So he bought me an embroidered squirrel kit. I love squirrels. Which is really cute. No, I mean, it's quite. it looks like quite straightforward, simple embroidery. I've never really done embroidery before. So that's cute. I might make him, he might live in my car. But it comes with everything you need. So the felt's already pre-cut. It comes with the thread, the needle, ribbon, and your stuffing. And the instructions. And that was only one ninety nine. So I thought that was really cute. And then he bought me a long stitch kit. Which I've never done long stitch. So it's a long stitch cushion kit. It was five ninety nine, 
and this is the cushion you make so it includes printed mesh tapestry yarn your backing fabric a tapestry needle a sewing needle white thread and all the instructions you need and it says on the front scale level skill level is two so let's give it a go bless him he he thought long stitch was like cross stitch because when he gave it me i was like oh i've never tried long stitch before thank you so much that would be great he was like is it not the same i was like no no i don't think it is but i'm really excited to give this a go and make a pretty pretty cushion so yeah so i got that as well which is wicked i've not even opened the box yet but i'll get to it i'll get to it so that was that. So then I've got patterns, purchased a few patterns. So I watch, like I think everybody does, um, Michelle Bendy Stitchy. She designs her own patterns and I've wanted to buy some for quite a while now. So I thought, you know what, I got paid, I thought I'm going to come buy them. They were in my um, basket on Etsy saved. So I, I made my purchase. So I bought two. These are from a range she does about Hilde, her little witch. So I've bought Hilde's Hair Ride, which is amazing. I mean, what attracted me to this was the fact that she's on a little hay cart, but it's being pulled by a toad. So that either means that she is a teeny tiny little borrower witch or he i think it's a he he is a giant toad either way i'm loving it um on a video she does sex i can't remember what the bats are called she's called the bats names because they're on every single hilda design i can't remember anyway but i might try using my classic colour works on this for the border maybe the auburn one but isn't it, it's just so cute it's nice and halloweeny i don't really have much halloween so i think and she's not she's not that big really she's 96 stitches wide by 62 high so she shouldn't in theory take that long yeah, love that one and then i got hildy's strawberry patch again is hildy a really tiny little witch or is the ladybird enormous again amazing either way so she's riding a little ladybird and picking strawberries which is just adorable and she's got little bumblebees around her this in the finishing she does make into a strawberry i don't think i'll be making it into a strawberry but isn't she cute she's adorable again i've not got the stitch point on the back of this one but again she's only little this shouldn't take too long love that and then um i've got after watching coffee stitcher um he was talking about his stitch asia choice so there is a cell going on really broad cell called stitch asia so it's in support and solidarity of um people of asian descent um i think mostly in america after the awful shootings that went on there um a week or so ago um so i can't remember who decided to do this but it's called stitch asia and you can stitch on anything asian themed so if you've got a geisha or a samurai or chinese zodiac bonsai tree whatever asian themed stitch you can stitch on that and take part in the sale or you can purchase fabric thread patterns from um an asian designer 
our floss dyer fabric dyer and you can participate in the sale that way so i went down the pattern route coffee stitcher was on and he was showing a pattern that he'd purchased to take part in the stitch ages so this is by a japanese designer i've got a name written down i'm going to butcher it now um it's gera by kayoko maruoka apologies if that is not how you say it please correct me and tell me how um but she has created a pattern as a tribute to Anne Frank. So I've been in my inspirational female groove <laughs> with Harriet Tubman and now Frida Kahlo. So I thought I'm going to add Anne Frank to my collection. So she has designed this, this tribute to Anne Frank. It's got just called Anne Frank. Um, I got it off creative poppy and it says on it if you couldn't read it in spite of everything i still believe that people are really good at heart so i purchased that because i love the sentiment behind it and i've read the diary of anne frank it's an inspirational read if you haven't please do um and i thought it's a good way of honoring her and also to participate in Stitch Asia as well because it was designed by a Japanese lady. So that is what I'm going to do for that. It isn't kitted up at all. Not sure when it will get started, but it will get started. And then, again, Michelle, Bendy Stitcher, she talked about her new sale that she's going to be starting with some of her friends and she's encouraging everyone else to take part as well her peruvian cats cell so this is by a lovely lady um on etsy her shop is called peruvian flare she's got a few um peruvian uh, patterns on there and some crochet patterns as well you should check her out she also has um a floss tube can't remember her name oh my goodness i'll find her name and i'll add it into the description but she's a lovely lady i watched her first floss tube and she does some really cute stuff she's from lima peru um i think she said she lives in miami on a floss tube if i remember rightly but anyway peruvian cat style so she's designed this cat's reflection sampler and this is what we'll be stitching for the cell. It's a lovely pattern. It's cats. I'm a crazy cat lady. So I thought, yeah, let's let's take part. It's all in one colour. And it colour works. Um so yeah. Sorry, a message just popped up on my phone and it distracted me. Um yeah, I'm gonna use my classic colour works. Um I'm not sure. I'm going to choose from the ones I've bought. I like the bandana one and find them. And bejeweled. And maybe the art and spice one. So I'm thinking those colours for that. I'm using the pinky purple fabric that I bought. I don't know if that will work. Let's do that right now. What does everyone think? I wanted to pick like traditional like South American colours. So that might work. If it doesn't, I was thinking I might dye my own bit of fabric. I've got a bit of green dye or a bit of red dye actually. I have red dye. I could try that and try that. But yeah. I googled like traditional like Peruvian colours and they're the kinds of things that were popping up along with pink and purple. So maybe, let's see, let's see how the mood takes me. But yeah, so that's, that is, that sell starts on the 3rd of April. So not, not next week, the week after. 
so that is that and that and that my friends is all of my haul so that is all i've got for you this week i've not made any plans i'm just gonna stitch whatever i want to <laughs> basically there'll be a little bit more haul next time because hopefully my book will have arrived um but yeah apart from that that's that's everything um i hope everyone's keeping well staying safe um i'll see you all hopefully i will be back next week um so yeah that's everything from me okay have a good rest of the day rest of the week um and i'll see you all soon bye bye for now